He has helped to spot cholestatic disease while interpreting LFTs. Liver markers can be really confusing because sometimes they're raised in lots of different conditions. For example, ALP, when raised on its own with no other liver markers raised, that's classic for bone disease, like Paget's disease. But the combination of a raised ALP and GGT together is classic for cholestasis. These two markers are found in the biliary system, that's why they're going to be raised. Markers, for example, AST and ALT, they're found in hepatocytes or in the liver, so they're not going to be as raised in cholestasis. Let's look at this question, for example, see if you can work out the answer. If you pick the biliary tree, then you're correct. It's not going to be the blood or intestines, because these aren't really the markers we'd be looking for if there were pathology in these regions. And it's not going to be hepatocytes, because like we said earlier, AST and ALT are found in the liver, so they would be much more raised in liver disease or even alcoholic liver disease. And it's not going to be bone, because like we said earlier, an isolated rise in ALP points towards bone disease. And because there's other markers raised, in particular, GGT, that points towards cholestasis.